Hi and welcome back to the Online Tech Tips channel. And today we're going to talk about everything you need to know about HDMI cable types. If you think all HDMI cables are the same, you're in for a surprise. We're looking at different types, versions and specifications to help you make the best choice for your home theater or gaming setup. Let's kick things off with the basics, HDMI standards and versions. HDMI or High Definition Multimedia Interface, for those who love the full name, came into the scene back in 2002 with HDMI 1.0. Over the years, we've seen multiple iterations like HDMI 1.3, which kicked the bandwidth up to 10.2 gigabits per second and introduced deep color. Fast forward to 2017 and we have HDMI 2.1, which ramps the bandwidth all the way up to 48 gigabits per second. That is a lot of data flowing through those cables. Now, not all HDMI cables are born equal. You have the standard HDMI cable, which is good for up to 1080p video and compatible with basically everything. High speed HDMI cables take you beyond 1080p and bring in 4K UHD and 3D capabilities. Premium high speed HDMI cables are for the more enthusiast crowd at the moment, supporting up to 18 gigabits of bandwidth from HDMI 2.0. Ultra high speed HDMI cables can really future proof your gear, supporting HDMI 2.1 features like 8K resolutions and high frame rates. You don't want to spend money on cable capabilities that you're not going to use, but you also don't want to buy cables now that won't serve you when next generation gadgets come out. And let's not forget about the humble HDMI connector. The one you're most familiar with is probably the Type A, but there are actually more. Type C and Type D are commonly used in portable devices like DSLRs and smartphones. Type B is a weird one and was supposed to cater to dual link DVI, but it never really caught on and I'm not aware of any commercial examples. And then we have the Type E connector, which is meant specifically for use in cars. HDMI doesn't just send video and audio. Newer versions can do much more, such as Ethernet. That's right, HDMI could handle your internet connection. And then you have the audio return channel, ARC, which sends audio from your TV back to your sound system. Finally, you have the Consumer Electronic Control System, or CEC, which allows your TV or a connected device to control one another over HDMI. Now, HDMI might rule the roost when it comes to home theaters and consoles, but in the world of PCs, DisplayPort is king. But there are converters to go between one or the other if you need to mix and match standards. Now, before you dive into the absolute ocean of HDMI cables on sites like Amazon, remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money on an HDMI cable. As long as the standard is right, it will work as advertised. Don't get wooed by gold-plated cables or really high price tags. They won't make your picture any better. See you next time.